Hi everyone, Tasha here from Start at School Crochet. Thanks for being a part of the Sweet Treats Crochet Along. And I'm so excited that you're here. I wanted to show you guys a few tips and tricks. Um, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so. And uh, any comments, please leave down below if you have any questions about the cow or anything. And all the links for the blanket pattern and everything will be in the description below. So for this tutorial, I wanted to show you how to create this beautiful border for your squares. It's a very easy technique and I really hope you enjoy doing it and it'll make your squares have a very uh, finished edge to them, which I really love. So I pulled out a couple samples to show you. This is one with the blue. I'm bordering mine with white. Um, and you can border yours with anything you'd like really any color you'd like get creative so this one um, has the actual Beginning border the first row of the beginning border, but it doesn't actually have the second row which is Here you can see the difference. So what it is is you're working into the chain spaces So let me show you how to do this um, This is my cupcake square I haven't finished it entirely because I didn't do the border all the way around but I'm going to do this quick tutorial for you so that you know exactly how to create all the borders so you can see that I've done part of it most of it here when you reach the end of your square your CTC square you're going to have um, the tail that comes off of it you don't need to break that tail you just can keep working so we're going to pretend that this is your chain that's coming out here so go ahead and chain one and then work a single crochet into the same space then chain two then into this space here you want to do a single crochet chain two find the next space and do a single crochet chain two find the next space and do a single crochet chain two next space single crochet so that is the beginning row one of your border pattern and it will create these little holes here that we were going to work our next stitch into and you can choose to do a double crochet a half double crochet or a single crochet either one you can do any stitch you want actually you can do a bobble stitch if you want <laughs> but this is the stitch I chose to do a half double crochet um, this is what it looks like on the front side and this is what it looks like on the back side and it creates a beautiful border I have one more hole left I'm going to work into that hole and then I'm not going to do another chain two right here when I reach this point so I'm coming up actually on the beginning of where I started and you want to work five single crochets into the corner stitch wherever you can find in the corner so just head head into that stitch and do five single crochets into the same space and you're creating a little bit of a curve. Okay, one, two, three, four. I'm gonna have to go backwards with this hook because it's being funny. Five. Okay, so we have five corner stitches. And now I'm back at the beginning where I started and I'm going to work into my first single crochet that I created and do um, a slip stitch. I'm going to go ahead and cut my yarn. You can do an invisible join here or you can just do a regular join. Um, an invisible one is a little bit different. It's where you pull your yarn out first um, and then you go back through the stitches. And I don't know that I'm actually very good at this. You go back through the top loop, pull it through, and then you go back through your last stitch. And I think there's a tutorial for this, but I'm not doing a really good job right now, you guys. Um, <laughs> I'm in a big hurry. Well, there you go. 
Thanks for being here and remember to give a thumbs up for the video, share it with your friends if you like it, and also um, subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Happy crocheting. Thank you.